we did it again. We got yet more solar panels. We got another 200 watt arch solar panels but from Bouge RV. And we're decided to give these flexibles a new, another try. We've had pretty much nothing but bad luck with our last flexibles. They lasted less than a year. Started to give us trouble due to cracking from, I guess, vibration and slight flexing. But these have a little bit better technology apparently. So we're gonna give them a good test and find out if they're actually any better than our old ones. Cause in general, we are not sold on flexible panels. The convenience of being able to mount them on our Dodger or on our Bimini has us rethinking them. And Bouge RV was nice enough to supply these to us. So we didn't pay anything for them, but we are not getting paid to make this video. So we'll give you a real review. And uh, this will be just more of a talking about the specs, showing you the panels and showing you the output. But in the future, we will do a serious in-depth video on how well they've pr produced probably about a year from now, just to see if they're still producing the way they should be. So it's only 2.1 millimeters thick and the whole panel only weighs 3.8 pounds. So it's, it's like less than a laptop. And because of their newer technology, you can bend the thing up to 270 degrees. So a full C shape without causing any serious detrimental cracking to it. It's, they recommend not to leave it in that shape but you can bend it up to that, that amount without causing problems. Now we're gonna test that and make sure that we're actually not losing anything by bending it that much. But the one advantage that I've noticed right away comparing to our old panels is that as soon, when I bend it, I don't hear that cracking, that crackling sound uh, that I was hearing with our old ones. And with our old ones, we would just bend it just a slight amount and you'd hear crackling like crazy. And then when you look closely, when you peel back the, la the protective layer on it, you can see all these tiny cracks all riddled throughout the cells. And a 100 watt panel was only giving us, instead of five amps or so, we were on 12 volts. We were only seeing maybe one amp if we we're lucky by a year later. So that's why we're not a big fan of these at the moment. But hopefully these will, ch will change our minds about the semi-flexible panels. The cells look really quite good and I do like the black background. Seems like they're really packing the cells very close together and making the most use of the area here. It's only 2.1 millimeters thick if you can imagine that. It's quite thin of a sheet. So these panels are built with triple layer material that helps to reduce the amount of heat that is lost uh, when the panel heats up. So as the panel heats up, your uh, panel becomes a little less efficient. And so the temperature coefficient goes down and you don't get, they're not as efficient panels basically. So uh, the triple layer is supposed to help that. So we'll find out if it's working any better. I guess that's more for when you're mounting it to a, a flat surface and uh, there's no airflow underneath it. These cells are actually uh, perk cells. It basically inc increases the internal light refraction for higher conversion rates. So these cells are 23% efficient, uh, which is fairly high. I believe a lot of our other cells were in the low t lower 20s. So a little bit more efficient than some of the other cells that we've had. They also have an IP68 weatherproofing rating. So they're fairly weatherproof and fairly durable. They're not completely waterproof, but that they have a decent amount of of weatherproofing. Apparently you can fully submerge these and exp expose them to extreme weather conditions. So these are all things that are likely gonna get tested along our journey just because we're gonna beat the crap out of these things. This material is supposed to be self-cleaning. So I imagine this is just a little bit more of a slick surface. Um, so debris and dust and stuff doesn't settle as much on it. These are also 10 BB grid panels, which reduces the loss from small cracking inside the cells and minimizes the loss from shading. So as one part of the panel gets shaded, you tend to lose a lot of power produced by the rest of the panel. But with this technology, with the 10 BB grid line, uh, it helps to reduce that. So even though some of it may be shaded, we'll still have a decent output on the rest. And that's something else that we'll hopefully test. All right, well, let's hook them up and see how they go. As per usual, when you're hooking up a panel, you don't want to shade it to make sure you're not getting any sort of spikes on your system. Um, and we're gonna hook this up real quick. All right, so we have this panel hooked up to our Bouge RV MPPT, which means we can pull it up here on the phone and see what our output is. It changed here, revealing the panel. 
All right, we got some shading going on here, so let's try to get it all not shaded. What do we got? So down like this with the sun over on a 45 degree angle, we're getting 3.42. If I just tilt it directly at the sun, we see it jump up. Oh, we're getting six amps now on this one. So the output just from the bending that I did really didn't change much. Now I'm curious. I bend it while I'm trying to read it. Let's see what we get. Ah, actually, it went up 3.8 or 6.8. We're still seeing full output around five to six amps. Give it a little bend. Try to keep it facing the sun. And it's still sitting roughly around the same thing. It's kind of bouncing around because I'm probably shading some of this right now. But I'm pretty happy with it. I don't hear cracking is the main thing. So bending aside from just making the sun not hit the panel quite right, doesn't seem to affect the panel whatsoever. So that's amazing. That's really good to see that they fixed that problem with these semi-flexibles. I'm actually almost seeing seven amps from a 100 watt panel right now. That's, that's huge. I'm almost getting the full 100 watts. We're getting 80, almost 90 watts out of this panel facing pretty close to perp perpendicular to the sun. So let's see if we shade maybe just one cell. What happens? Okay, well, the shading still really does affect it. So it went from six to about three amps. So it cut it in half just shading one cell. All right, so we're sitting at six amps roughly. Now, if Alex kind of shades a little bit of the panel with her body, let's see where it drops to. Okay, yeah, stop there. That's like, you know, not even a quarter of the panel. Oof. Yeah, I don't know about their sales pitch on shading because now it's point, putting out 0.3 amps. So I don't think shading, I don't think these are helpful for shading at all. Losing a, a, almost the entire output and only producing less than an amp isn't any improvement on other panels in my opinion. So that's one thing I, I would say that uh, if you're buying these for improved shading requirements because of your boom or something, don't expect to get a huge difference uh, comparing to other panels, in my opinion, just from what we just tested. But we'll do some more extensive tests along the way. One thing I'll note is the warranty on these semi-flexibles is actually quite good. Our last cells only had a one-year warranty, whereas these have a 10 plus two-year warranty and a 25-year warranty on output. So if they stay within their reasonable output, um, you have up to 25 years to replace them. Now, I'm curious, and I've reached out to them to find this out. Um, I've heard in the past that if you mount panels to a sailboat, you kind of void the warranty in some ways. I guess a high, vib high vibration environment. Uh, with certain manufacturers anyway. So it'll be, I'll be interested to see if we have to warranty any of our Bouge RV panels, how they, they handle the warranty process. I'm not overly stoked on the output with just slight shading on these panels. I don't think the technology is there yet to say that it really improves it all that much, but I am really impressed with the flexibility of these and how they don't lose output and I don't hear that cracking that used to drive me crazy and I knew I was damaging the panel, but I couldn't prove it until a little later in its life when I saw that the amps just completely dropped down to almost nothing. One thing I'll say about Bouge RV, um, they're really good for um, dealing with and they seem to package their stuff quite well. Uh, some of our friends got some panels from them and they were damaged through shipping. Uh, no fault of Bouge RV, but they dealt with it right away. And this, these panels were actually, I mean, they're packaged in between foam, in a box, they had another box around it, so really good packaging. You're generally gonna have uh, an easy time without having to return damaged products with, with Bouge RV. At least that's what we've found so far. So let's wait and see how this produces over the long term. And uh, we'll let you know if we have changed our opinion on flexible solar panels or if we still wanna stick with rigid from, from now on.